Molly, sustainable and the cost, are they opposites or do you think we can build new housing that people will welcome? Well, that very much depends on government policy. So one of the things I very much noted in the autumn statement was there was not a single mention of climate change in spite of the fact that we've recently signed up to the Paris Agreement and the government has said this is the most important crisis facing us. So if the government started providing tax incentives for eco-building or made it cheaper for people to buy the you know, well-insulated homes or even required high levels of insulation, then we would see people moving in that direction. Don't we just need as many houses as we can get at the moment? Well, I don't think we necessarily need any old houses. I think the quality of the houses really matters. And one of the things we proposed in our autumn statement report was that we should allow local authorities to borrow so that they could build social housing, which is actually genuinely affordable because it would be at a reasonable rent. And, you know, at a time of historically low interest rates, I think we need to allow local authorities to do that. They always were built to a high standard, weren't they? They really were, housing. and at the moment, a lot of councils are actually leading the way in terms of sustainable construction as well. For, for example, ground source heat pumps, we have a lot of those in our council housing in Stroud because we can put together the, the political incentives that we need and looking ahead, the, 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 the longer-term perspective, as well as making them affordable.